So at this point, I think I'm going to start adding a little bit of jQuery. Uh, essentially, what I need to do is go from where I'm at, which is here, to something that resembles this. Um, I'm not too much too worried about the styling at this point. Essentially, I want to get this bare functionality happening right here. So, well, I know one thing for starters that I need jQuery, and you know I have a couple different options. I have uh, the Google CDN. I got the uh, Microsoft jQuery CDN. Let's see how this works. Microsoft. Eh. We should find it somewhere. Let me see if I could. Ah, here we go. Here it is. The jQuery. So this looks like the link ajax.microsoft.com forward slash ajax forward slash jQuery forward slash the version. And obviously, I want to get the min version, the minimized version. I'm going to copy this link. Actually, I could go right to this link, I guess. Yep, there she is, old 1.4.3, although I know that I'm looking for 1.4.4, so theoretically, if Microsoft's being good, yeah, there it is. Yeah, they kept it, that naming convention. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So I will do just that. Now I need to add this to my document. How do I do that? Well, the old script tag, and we'll find. Don't you know we're using strict? So when you're using strict, you have to define a a type of script, right? Otherwise, you're going to get an error. And now source. And interestingly enough, you know I find it hard to memorize certain syntax for stuff, and. Uh, that's why I really like the code hinting that Dreamweaver does. Um, that way, just kind of, I like to start typing it kind of to refresh my memory, but it definitely helps me out because my syntax is uh, could be god awful sometimes. Um, all right, that's jQuery. Now we need to actually link to a script that we're going to create, right? So we're going to keep the same syntax, um, although oh, we forgot to close this guy out okay got to going to keep that same syntax as far as the script links concerned except our source is going to change and the only dangerous part here is that um, I haven't actually created this file yet so I need to make sure that I keep the name structure the same so I'm going to copy that here we go we save it now let me create a new document obviously this is going to be a JavaScript document and ah, here we go just making sure that that's why I copy and pasted the name I know how to spell script but I may have inadvertently misspelt it altogether so better I I don't know better I get the link right than miss the miss worry about the misspelling I don't know but you, I think you see my logic on it all right and well, now we just have to, you know, basically tell JavaScript that when it's ready, let's uh, let's start running these commands. Now, what was that again? Do you, do you recall what that what the actual syntax was? Well, if you don't, go back into one of your old projects. I mean, that's why you did it, right? Just that it's that old, good old document ready function because no point to redoing stuff from scratch especially since you've already done it right once put that there make sure you close these guys out you got no syntax errors so ends jQuery alright I'm uh, definitely at the beginning of setting this thing up now what's the first thing I need to do to actually get a little bit closer to what I got going on over here well I could tell you it could probably start by me hiding some of these elements. So let me give that a go. Just a quick while we're here. So when as soon as this thing loads, what I want it to do, so let's say dot 
Well, we'll start with Beastie Boys. Oops, I need to make sure I put these guys in single quotes here. Dot Beastie Boys dot hide. Let's see. So now these Beastie Boys should go away. Ah, look at that. They went away. So what else could I do? I want Beastie Boys to go away. I want Run DMC. And I want Slick. Slick Rick. Hey, not too shabby. I mean, it's not there yet, but at the very least, I know all these things are loaded up, but they're not viewable.